KFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday. Three hours left to go in the trading day. And we got markets trending higher. All the indices now in the green, except for the NASDAQ 100. But we have the Dow right now up 131 points, trading at 29,038. NASDAQ in the green by eight, trading at 92.82. S&Ps positive by two points, trading at 32.92. Gold contract off about $6 at 15.43. Oil up 44 cents at 58.52. Notes and bonds, we have a little bit of higher price and lower yield on bank earnings kicking things off. The 10-year up five ticks at 129.03. The 30-year bond up 16 ticks at 157.24. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the charts. We'll start it off with the Dow. As I mentioned, higher territory we go. We're now above 29,000 in the futures contract. To put that in context, that's about 260 Dow points from where we were trading at overnight 28,739 the low, and as you can see, we're getting a 29,000 print as we speak. NASDAQ 100, a little bit of a different story, but we've been trending higher since 10 a.m. We were at 9,037. We're now trading at 9,082. That's more than 40 points above that level. S&P is trending higher as well. We make a low overnight of 32.75. We trade to a low of 32.79. We're now trading 13 points above that level. 32.92 in the S&P 500. Crude oil, $58.33. We had a low in that overnight as well as 57.78. Gold contract, 15.43 currently. Lows overnight as well, 15.38. So you're about $5 above that level. And the Euro US dollar trading at 1131. In terms of what else you have happening, I mentioned it. It is bank earnings. J.P. Morgan coming out of the gates and crushing it, especially when you look at their bond trading revenue. The market was expecting 2.61, as in $2.60. No, $2.61 billion. That's right, billion dollars in fixed income revenue. How about $3.4 billion instead? Citigroup, they beat as well on 49% fixed income trading surge. Wells Fargo on the flip side of that, disappointing. And to jump over to some of that, and before we do, how about Tesla just continuing to trade upward? 2.4% positive today for Tesla. JP Morgan up about 1.75%. Citi up 2.6% right now. And as I mentioned, Wells Fargo down more than 4%. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes with the Trader's Edge right now. Dave White live at 2 o'clock. Tom O'Brien live at 3. We'll be right back.